Hello and welcome to day 49 of Invigorate. Today it's a full body resistance band workout. I'll be including band exercises to work our whole body, arms, legs, posture, and of course core, plus we'll do some really nice stretches at the end. Now pace yourself because this is a longer workout. It will be between 55 to 60 minutes. The exercise blocks will be one and a half minutes followed by a 30 second rest break. Make sure you have your water, your mat and your long band, 1.2 to 1.5 meters. Also grab a loop band if you prefer to wrap that up around the legs for some of those exercises if you have one. Let's get started together right now. Time to warm it up. Let's roll through the shoulders here. And a little bit bigger. Now take it back, start small. And then bigger. Good. Feet just wider than hip distance, arms forward and back for squats and lift. Down and lift. Ready for your full body resistance band workout today. Looking forward to doing this with you. I know the bands are really our favorite here on this channel. Down and up. It's so great to hear many of you noticing those strength improvements, postural improvements, and muscle tone. Good, let's go for five more. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's step it out, slow to the side, step squat and in. Nice and easy to start with today. Down and in, down and in. Good. Shoulders pull back. Sink low. One more here. Good, and now I'm going to get you to move over to the wall just to warm up the posture a little more. We have done this exercise before, so press the shoulders back and let's do the wall arm reach up and forward and lift and forward and lift good and forward up and forward really bring your shoulder blades together have that resistance as you press the arms forward and back pull down strong Really nice for shoulder stability and warming up the upper body. And four, forward, good. And three, and two, and one, forward and back. Now stay here with the elbows into the wall, one arm forward and back, one arm, really push strong with the elbow to the wall. Let's awaken those upper back muscles a little more. Abdominals in, strong. Four more here, three and two, and one, let's bring it up and time for a quad stretch. Knees together. Good. Change legs. Let's open up through the arms. chest stretch 
and upper back. Let's get those hamstrings, lift up through your foot there, keep that leg straight and this supporting one bent. Got some really great swap sides, compound and isolation exercises for you today. So we'll be working the muscles together to help you keep that strong alignment and good movement through your whole body, plus really isolate to tone and strengthen each individual muscle as well. Inner thigh stretch across here. Let's keep the knee over the heel. Good. And other side. Excellent. Okay, are you ready? One and a half minutes. The first exercise we have is our lunges. So we're going to do 45 seconds on each leg with this one. Get your long band ready. We're going to place it underneath the foot. Use the heavier band. Make sure you wind it up so that it has a strong resistance as you lift. Three, two, one, here we go. Down and lift. Press down through that front heel, really anchoring firmly and up. Lift the chest. I want you to think about every exercise we do, you are working every muscle. Down and up. Breathe. You can go slow. We have a minute and a half. You do notice that compared to the 60 second blocks, get ready to change in a second will be a fast change. Three, two, one. Here we go. Other leg and down. Good. Let's really feel each repetition, each muscle. 20 seconds. Pull up strong through your chest. 10. Three, two, one. Well done. First exercise complete. 30 second rest right here. Let's keep that band in the hands and getting ready for some single, single double rows. So you'll have around that same resistance, stepping on the band now with both feet. In three, two, one, here we go. And single, single, double, elbow, up, and the double. That's it, single, single. Pull up strong. Take your time, pause with each one, and lift. Chest up. Good. Again. Up and up. Let's pull up through those shoulder blades. Lift your chest, 30 seconds. And lift. And up. Good, are you feeling the upper back yet? I hope so. Control it down. And one. One, last one here, up and lower. Fantastic. Enjoy that 30 second rest. Keep your band 
right here. Ready for some arm openings. Now we will be going from lower to upper body, back to lower, and then to core. So a nice combination of all the movements today. Changing up that order is also good for you. Three, two, one, so that your muscles are challenged. Arm openings here, open and in. Pull together through the shoulder blades. Good. Exhale, inhale. You want to bring the band a little lower than the shoulders. You don't even have to go too wide. If you've got a strong pull on the band, you may feel it here. You don't have to extend all the way out. Just give it that little bit of a pause each time so that you feel the upper back working. Open and in. Good. Keep it moving. Fifteen seconds. Feeling it now. Yes. Two and one. Bring it down. Well done. Next, we're going to do some tricep, kick, tricep kickbacks standing. Now, if the band is short, you would do one side at a time, okay? Or you can even do this one where we do the overhead press as your other option. Otherwise, jump into it here with me. Here we go and press back, elbows forward. Elbows to the side of your ribs, kick back and in, back and in. So let's really lean forward, knees are bent, pause each time getting into your triceps. And squeeze and lift. Make each one count. Back and in. Good. Keep going. Thirty seconds. Lift your elbows. Keep working. Come on, sink low through the legs. Ten seconds. You can do this. Squeeze the arms. One, and bring it down. Coming up. Well done. Keep the band right here. Thirty second break. Good. So we're going to wrap it up a little tighter and go into our diagonal arm pull, alternating sides, opening, and then to the other side. Let's go. And open, in, and open. So again, we're placing the shoulder blades towards each other. Don't let them pull apart, right? So keep the tension there. And then you're keeping tension in the band, the whole movement. Even as you return to the center there, there is that tightness in the band. Good, and open 
in, open and in. Good. Strong. Both arms are straight. Good. Open. Breathe out. Keep going. Nearly there. Last one. And in. Fantastic. Let's unwrap the band, have a quick water break. Next up, we're going to do our step squat across in three, two, one, and three, two, one, go back. Keep your feet at least hip distance the whole time. And in three, two, one, and in, good, three, two, stay low. Good. Squeeze the thighs. Tighten your glutes. And back. Three. Strong core. Pace yourself. That's it. Outer hips. Three. Two. Good. Three seconds. Feeling it. Again. Come on, push out into that band. Nearly there. We've got time for one more. Two and one coming up. Great job. Outer hips are working. Definitely. Keep the band here in the hands and we're going to do single leg deadlift coming forward and up. If you do struggle with balance, I want you to hold the band and then hold on to a wall. Here we go. Forward and up. So we want a decent resistance on that band. Let's try and keep that back leg off the floor. Good. And forward. The supporting leg is slightly bent. I want you to really push down through the heel. Keep your shoulders back. The upper back muscles are active, not relaxed. Good. That back leg super straight. Squeeze through the thigh. Go off balance, just reset. Tilt your body and then come straight back up. Should be feeling the supporting leg. One, and up, well done. Have that break before we do the other side. 
Now you may notice on this one as well, there is a slightly stronger side. It will eventually all even out. Just keep being consistent with the routines and really working on right to left balance work as well. Let me know if you need any help on that. Are you ready for the other side? Three, two, one, here we go. And forward and up, forward. You can place that back foot down onto the floor. Try to keep it up though. You're literally tipping forward and pull up strong. Make this a little stronger here. Forward and lift. Good. Stay focused. Abdominals in, doing well. Nearly there. One, and coming up. Well done. Let's take that band out. Fantastic work. Drink break. Let's go to some upper body once again. What we're gonna do is a single arm, one at a time, and change the angle. So we're going to go out to the side, to the center, and then the middle. Here we go, three, two, one, and here it is. Make sure there is enough resistance. So side bicep, middle, and inside. Outside, middle, and in. Get it nice and strong. Out, middle, in. Good, and out, middle, and across. Just a slight variation here to work your muscle on a different angle. And out. Curl up. And out. seconds. Feeling it yet? Yes. Up. Stay tall through your center. We've got time for one more here. Up. And up. Well done. Oh, definitely felt that in the biceps. Let's change to the other side. Have that 30 seconds. And then getting ready. Wow, you can feel that. Okay, now you're ready. So let's keep that control, that nice steady pace to work through the one and a half minutes. Here we go. And out, center, and across. Make it a bit tighter. Out, middle, and cross. Shoulders back. Outside, middle, inside. Pause at the end. Out, middle, and cross. How are those arms? Out, middle, and cross over. 
Good. I want you to really feel strong through the feet, through the legs, through the core. Whenever you're doing these arm exercises, everything else is still working to keep you centered, balanced, and stabilized. Good, and out. Keep going. Up and cross. Ten seconds. Up. Keep working, almost there. And one. Well done. Oh, there goes that other arm. Good work. Okay, so we're going to do a straight arm pendulum standing. This will get our upper back and triceps together nicely. So wrap the band up. You want it to be fairly tight so that when you wrap it up in front of the hips here, you pull back and there's that resistance. Lean forward, flat back and lift. Up. Again, this is great to pause on this one. Up and forward. Good, up and down. Chest lifted. Up and lift. And lift. You will get super strong and toned arms from doing these regularly and correctly. Up and up. Really squeeze the backs of your triceps here. Up. Lift. And lift. Keep the shoulders open. Good. Keep moving. You can do this. Stay strong. 10 seconds. Good. Two, one, and bring it down. That seems to be one of those exercises where it creeps up on you and then you feel it when you stop or towards the end. All right, how are we going? Keep it up, let's just have a bit of a shake out here for a moment. Now next up, I'm gonna give you the chest crossovers. So we'll do 45 seconds on each to isolate through the pecs and front of the shoulders. Three, two, one. Anchor down firmly and then we take the band across, up and up. Make sure it moves up on that diagonal angle here and lift. Abdominals strong and lift and lift. So at that 45 second mark, we'll do a quick changeover to the other side and up. Now that was too tight, so I'm gonna release it a little more. So you've really gotta find those correct resistance points for you. Getting ready, squeeze up and across. Two and one, here we go. Firm grip and up, up and across. Good. Keep your shoulders facing the front. That's it. Stay strong in the middle here. Don't move with it. The body wants to go with the arm. Stay steady. Nearly there, three, two, one, and bring it down, nice work. Moving on to kneeling with our spirals. 
This one is amazing for that upper back thoracic rotation, really important for posture and mobility. So let's set this one up. We will do the full minute and a half on each side because we're going to go super slow. All right, so extending your leg out, shoulders back. Let's anchor down three, two, one. Here we go, reach your arm up and around and down and lift. Keep your arms straight. It moves forward and then up and back to the ceiling. You can lift the leg at the same time if you like. And up and around. Let's really get that shoulder blade pulling in towards the other one. And up. Good. Exhale up. Inhale down. Strong. Control as the band moves back to that start position. And up. 30 seconds. Shoulder and upper back working well here. Good. Up, 10 seconds, good, and lift and down, wow, right there, is that where you're feeling it as well, hope so, let's loosen up for a moment here, and moving to the other side, Let's extend the leg out. Get that band nice and secure. Anchoring down. Three, two. Here we go. And up and back. And lift. Just adjust the band till you get it in the correct spot for you. Good, and lift. If your arm is going really far back, it could be a little too easy. So in that case, just press down on more of the band to increase the pull, the pull and the resistance. Leg lift optional and up and up. Each repetition counts. Thirty seconds. Can we go a little further back, up and around? Good. Ten seconds. And one. Fantastic. Let's have a water break. Okay. We're going to move it onto the floor for a little bit here for some core. First up, bring the band around the feet for rotations. Let's make sure it's nice and strong. Three, two, turn, turn. Abdominals strong. Lift your chest. Making sure the hips and knees are steady. If you want to make it harder, if you are more advanced, lift your legs and hover. Make sure that that does not compromise the leg stability. Good. 
and turn. Tighten the band a bit more if needed. Work into it. Pull in your belly each time you turn the torso. Good, 30 seconds. Turn, turn. Belly there. Come on. Two and one. Bring it down, well done. Let's have a quick stretch while we are here. Just keeping the band around the legs there, around the feet and coming forward. Roll ups simply here. The band stays around the feet and this is a good opportunity for a bit of assistance to help with your roll ups. All right, so down and up. You can even just go halfway back and do little ones if that works best for you and where you're at. If you want to advance this, I want you to come back and then as you lift, you're going to start lifting the legs to that tabletop position and from there into a full straight leg teaser if it's right for you. So let's play with that a little. Three, two, one. Here we go. I'm going to start with the roll up and then we can progress from there. Or you can simply stay here. You'll find that having the band around here will give you a better stretch through the spine as well, because it's helping to anchor down your legs, which gives you the opportunity to really work through the vertebra, draw in your abs and work from a strong core and good alignment. Now let's start to lift if that feels right for you. Level three straight legs if you like. Good, keep doing what you can today. Good. Push the legs away from the torso. One more. Hold, hold. Three, two, one. Bring the legs down and stretch forward. Nice work there. Let's keep working. So from here, keep the band wrapped around the feet and we're going to do the high rows here. So we've got the elbows lifted this time. Okay, again, the option to make it harder is to raise your legs off the floor. Three, two, one, here we go. Lean back and lift and lift. Let's get the elbows to shoulder height. Up and in. More challenge is here. Let's just bring the hands forward a little so you keep some more tension in the upper back with a partial movement. Abdominals strong, up and forward. Good, up, bring the legs down if you like. Lift, core pulled in, good. Thirty seconds. Come on. Tear 
10 seconds. Two and one, bring it in, well done. Just relax the hands for a moment. Getting ready for our next core exercise, which is going to be the hundreds. So we will use the band as the resistance when we move our arms up and down. You'll be familiar with this from some of the Pilates workouts that you've been doing. But if not, I will talk you through it. Coming down, two, one, legs coming up, nice and strong through the band and lift your chest. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So we're pulling on the band here as the arms do the pumping motion up two, three, four, five. Make it stronger. So your lats work a bit more here. Belly strong. Lift the shoulders. Now if the neck is no good, place the head down and focus on the core and the arms working well. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A few more. Last one. Two, three, four, five. Bend your knees and gently come up. Good. Now we're a little ahead of time there because hundreds are just doing 100 is enough. So we'll just have a little extra break here and a quick stretch, lift one leg up here. And swap sides. Good. Here we go for 45 seconds each arm. Tricep kickbacks. In three, two, one. Extend the opposite leg and out. And in. And out. Squeeze back through the triceps. Lift the neck. Abdominals in. And back. Let's keep the glute active at the back here, lifting the leg. Good. Getting ready to swap in a second. Three, two, one. Change sides. Here we go. And back. Lift up that leg up. Keep the glute working. Back and in. Triceps working. Lift your chest. Come on. Good and out. 10 seconds. Two, one, well done, stretch it back. All right, keep the band right here, moving down onto the tummy. Bring it down slow. Hold the band in front, three, two, one, arms straight. Now we're going to lift arms and legs, open the band and down. If you find it's a bit much, you can keep your legs on the floor, tummy in at the same time. Let's get that strong pull apart with the band as you lift the chest up and lower. 
lift. This is a great back strengthening exercise here. Up and lift. Lift. Knees are straight, thighs are working, glutes are working as well. And lift. Up. Drop it to the opposite arm and leg if you prefer, if it's a bit much. Or keep it going with the full version if you like. And lift and down. Excellent. All right, let's place the band down. Gently stretch up. We are nearly there for today. Back into rest pose for a moment. Let's get that loop band or you can tie up the long band around the legs. I'm going to use the loop one for this. We'll do a few more glute isolation exercises. Good, so from here, we will move to the elbows. And keep the knees under the hips. We're going to do up and then side. So kick back to the ceiling and then side. And up and side. Lift and side. Take your time with it. Squeeze the glute. Get ready to change in just under 10 seconds. Lift. Swap sides here. And lift. And side. Lift. And side. Really pause in between each one. Strong core. Up and side. Good, and lift. Keep going. Up. Lift. And open, well done. Time up for that one. Let's bring it around. Keep the band exactly where it is, here, just above the knees. Coming down for your bridges. Ready in three, two, one. Lift into your bridge, extend one leg, and open to the side, five and four stability through the core through the hips two one center bring it down other leg and five to the side four lift your hips three good and two and one and down control lift balance and five hips Lengthened, your tailbone lengthening towards the legs. And down, other side. Lift and five. Press down through that other heel. One, down and lift. Feeling it. 
Good. One more. Lift. And five, four, one. Bring it down. Stay here. Pulse the hips up, up. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Hold. Bring the arms up and lower the hips. Fantastic. Move the bend just around the ankles. Keep it a decent resistance. Last exercise for today, then we stretch. Keep that tension in the band. Push your legs sideways. All right, arms up. Lift the abdominals up, stretch out, in and back. Lift, out, in. Keep pushing outwards on the band and up. Tummy tight and lift. If you want to make it harder, you go lower, but keep the control. Ribs down, belly in. Tension in that band. Good. And lift. Up. Keep pushing out into it. Good. Control the arms. Hands back behind the head if you need that support for the neck. Core working, outer hips working, outer thighs working. And lift, two, in and down. Well done. Let's take the band off there. Bring yourself up off the floor. Pick up the long band and wrap it around your foot here, sitting tall. Breathe in and breathe out, stretch forward. Well done today. Solid workout here, full body with the band. I hope you're feeling good, feeling strong. Stretch it down. Good, other side here. Extend it out, sit tall and then forward. Excellent. Cross the legs and now bring the band up and open through the chest. Let's get that nice side to side chest and shoulder opening here. Good. And bring it down. Hip flexor stretch. Up. Take one foot forward and reach the arm. That's it. Turn that into hamstrings here, lift and forward. Other side, take the leg out, lift through the arm. Good. And lift the front foot, straighten the knee, come forward. Standing up here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's do the triceps right now. Push one hand down behind the back here. Press down through your elbow. Other side. Good. 
Well done today, really proud of your efforts. A solid routine, keep going. I'd love to hear how you went with today's workout. Always adjust your bands according to the exercise and how you're feeling. Keep up the great work, really, really proud of you. See you in tomorrow's video.